Yep. Hey guys, this video I didn't really want to make because my Hornady safe has kicked the bucket, which is a real bummer seeing how this thing costs 250 bucks. Um, the reason I'm making this say th this video is because I was going to make a video of talking about the different RFID aftermarket devices you can use with this, which I am still going to make. I have a friend who has a safe, uh, so I'm going to go borrow theirs, um, and I'll still make that, and I'll post it probably in a week or so, or maybe I posted this one afterward. Um, anyway, th this 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 is a Hornady um, Rapid uh, safe. Uh, in the rapid line and it's th their night guard so the horny night guard um it's honestly been a good safe for when it worked um and then the other day i went to open it and the motor engaged and then it just never disengaged and i honestly don't know why um 100 i have some theories though it's completely unresponsive as far as engaging the motor everything else works the clock works i can dim the clock um i can i can punch in my my uh the wrong password pass code and it beeps at me like hey you got it wrong um i can punch in the right one and it, it it acts like it should work um i can program new uh tags and everything so i th a lot of that stuff's working the the five volt rail in the back works um but it's just the motor is not um engaging um i haven't reached out to horny yet but i do know that these things only have a one year warranty so i'm 99 percent sure horny is going to go tell me to pound sand which is a real bummer Honestly, I think it's a big red flag when electronics, especially made by Hornady and when they cost nearly $300, when they only have a one-year warranty, that's kind of a red flag. For example, my Ryobi tools, um, I, so, you know, you can give me a hard time for having Ryobi. Look, I started it when I was cheap in college, uh, cheap in, in college and I'm still cheap and I'm not in college. But anyway, like my Ryobi tools have a three-year warranty and I beat the freaking crap out of them. Um, especially my drill driver, and they're going strong 10 years later. So I would expect nothing less from Hornady. Um, and for to have this $250 safe die after two and a half years is really honestly just kind of a letdown. Um, and the fact that their warranty is so bad for these, it's like, man, I want to recommend them to you because when they work, they're actually pretty impressive and they work pretty good. Um, but when they don't work, it's really kind of a bummer. Part The safe does say made in China on it. Uh, which a lot of Hornady reloading components, like the press behind me, it's made in America, and they're pretty proud about that. Um, and it has like a freaking lifetime warranty, and I've reloaded over 15,000 rounds on it over the course of several years, and it worked fantastic. Um, this thing, it's made in China, and I've actually, I'm I'm working on troubleshooting. I'll also make another video on fixing the this safe. Um, but uh, it, a lot of the ICs, the integrated circuits, are Chinese. They're not um, made by American brands, which America doesn't really make very many ICs. They're all made in Taiwan. Um, but the, we design a lot, and they're not designed by American companies. These 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 are Chinese ICs, which were it's essentially stolen IP from American companies, and then the Chinese just make it. Um, but. Anyway, I'm just kind of rambling about this safe because I'm really bummed about it and I was going to make a cool video for you to watch, but instead uh, about the RFID tags on it, but instead you just get to watch me ramble about how this Hornady Night Guard safe kind of sucks. Um, anyway, I have my original review on the Hornady safe that you can find here. Um, and then there are two design flaws with this safe other than the fact that it broke um, that you can find here. I'll put those up as well. Um, and then, yeah, uh, Stay tuned. I'm going to see if I can troubleshoot and fix this thing. Um, and I'll post that later. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching and being patient this one. This was kind of a worthless video for you. Um, but now you know the Hornady safes are not bulletproof. Figuratively, not literally. Although, if I can't troubleshoot it, we'll test that.